So let's talk about digital imagery and what types of instruments are used to collect it, primarily from satellites, although it could be from any sort of airborne sensor. Um, first of all, one of the biggest differences between digital imagery and um, film photography is that we have these different um, layers or bands. Each one of these would be called a band. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different bands here. And each of these bands would be measuring a different portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. So for example, this one could be measuring re red, the red portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, this one the blue portion, this one the green portion, um, and so forth. Um, it, from each of those portions of the electromagnetic spectrum, the intensity of that light is going to be recorded on each of the pixels in each of these images here. So we kind of have this stack of, um, this stack of information where each band represents a different portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. So how is that actually collected by a um, satellite? Well, it can be collected in basically three primary different ways. One is just called a matrix array. And that would just be like what's in your um, cell phone if you have a cell phone with a camera. It would just be something that captures the imagery um, and each pixel would represent the different colors that it sees as it, uh, as it goes through and, and collects that imagery. So um, for satellite imagery, there would be a separate matrix for each of those bands in the previous image. And then all of those could be combined in order to um, come up with the, with the um, display of the remote sensing image. So a matrix array is one way. Another way is this, this um, type of um, this type of instrument that's called a push broom instrument. And it's called a push broom because we can imagine if the satellite is up here, it's moving in the same direction in which the information is being collected. So in this case, we have a linear array of detectors. So each one of those you can think of as like one of those little matrix arrays perhaps. And um, all of that is coming through some sort of optics. And as the satellite is moving in this direction here is collecting data from the ground first in this uh, row here, then the next row, then the next row, and the next row. So it's kind of like a, a broom that's being pushed in this direction here. It's just collecting one swath at a time and, um, and it's collecting the swath that's, beneath, that's directly beneath wherever the satellite happens to be at that point. That would be a push broom instrument. By contrast, a whisk broom instrument is one that has some sort of um, rotating scanner, perhaps a mirror that's moving from side to side. So um, as, this, as this satellite moves across here, it's not collecting this entire row at the same time. This um, instrument is rotating, and as it rotates, it might start collecting data here, and collect data up to here, and then again from here to here, or sometimes it kind of follows a pattern from side to side, as is shown in this example here, which is how it got the name whisk broom. It's like someone is brushing as they're walking along. So the satellite is moving like this, the, um, the mirror on the satellite is rotating, and that rotation is allowing it to capture information back and forth as it, uh, as it follows this path here. And we would call that entire um, width where it's collecting information, that's its angular field of, view, of um, views. So that's, that's the angular field of view there. So in this example here from, from uh, from the textbook, we can see that here's a linear array here, it's coming along in this direction here, and that entire stippled area there is being captured all at once um, as the satellite is passing overhead here. And in this example here, once again, in, uh, the mirror is moving from side to side. So, um, so as the mirror moves from side to side, the, um, it's being captured along the path, along this row, um, as that, as that image is moving along. So this would be a linear array and this would be an optical mechanical scanner. This would be a push broom type of instrument. And this one over here would be the whisk broom type of instrument.